Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominich and I am a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. If this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button below to stay up to date on all of the videos that we post. Today I want to talk to you about security in Power BI. In my previous video, I went over the process of setting up basic row level security in your reports. If you haven't checked that video out yet, make sure to go to our YouTube channel and watch that one first before taking a stab at what we're going over in this video with dynamic security. But just to catch you up, row level security is a way for you to restrict certain users access to the data in your report based on a role that you create in the Power BI desktop. You create that role, you'll name the role, you'll apply a filter to the role using a DAX expression. Again, go ahead and check out that video. But this process can become very time consuming and unmanageable if you are having to set up multiple roles across many reports um, for a large organization. So how do we simplify this process? How do we make this easier to manage, easier for us, and taking up less of our time. Well, we can do that using a DAX expression, a DAX function known as user principal name. Instead of having to set up a role for each user that we wanna restrict their access to a specific column of data, whether that's sales territory or a region or a department, we can go in and create a one single role using that user principal name function and we can then set it up so that when a user is accessing this report, when they are logged in, they will only be able to see the data tied to their login. Now, once we have this set up, this will work very easily and very simply, and it's gonna make your job much easier if you are the one having to manage security for your reports. All right, enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and jump into the Power BI desktop and take a look at this in action. All right, so here on my screen, I have a simple report that I set up here showing employee sales from January 5th, and I have five employees here, Angelica, Austin, Allison, Matt, and Devin. And this card visual here is showing us the total sales for these employees on this date. If we head over to the data view here, just to take a look at the data we have here, we have on our employee table, we have a column with the employee name, a column with the employee ID, and their email address. Now, this is essential in order for this to work. So you will need to insert a column with your employees or your users um, email address in order for this function to work properly. Let's go ahead and check out the sales table here. We have a column with employee ID, a date column here for our sales date in question that we are concerned with, and then a sales column with the total sales on that date for each employee. If we head over to the model view now, we can see the two tables, the employee table and the sales table, do have a relationship between the two, a relationship between the employee ID on the employee table as well as on the sales table. This also must be in place here for your security to work. All right, let's head back to the report view now and let's take a look at setting this up here. What we're gonna do here now is going to be very similar to what we did in my intro to row level security and Power BI security video. And we're gonna create a role. And this time we're going to create just one role that's going to work for all of these individuals. So we're gonna set this up just like we did with my previous video in setting up a role here. We're gonna to go to the modeling tab and from the modeling tab, we will select manage roles and we'll go in there, create that new role using that user principal name and then we will validate and test out these roles here in the desktop. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. From the modeling tab, we're gonna go ahead and select manage roles in that security section. Once we have this window open, we'll select create to create a new role. And for this one here, I'm just gonna call this dynamic security. 
And then we're going to apply a filter on the employee table and specifically on the email address column. We'll replace this section here with our user principal name function. Double checking our spelling and our typing here. Once we have this set up correctly, we'll go ahead and hit save. All right, now we need to validate and see if this does in fact restrict the data to the specific user who is viewing it. So let's go ahead and select view as. And in order to test this out correctly here in the desktop, we have to select dynamic security and then other user. Now here, I'm going to type in my email address and I'm going to test this first here and see if this works the way we expect it to. If it does, when I hit OK, we should only see my name, my employee ID, and the sales attached to my name for January 5th. And here we can see it is just showing my name, my employee ID, and the sales is reduced significantly. But maybe you're doubting this is working. Let's go ahead and test this here as another user. So I'm gonna hit stop viewing up here. Back at the ribbon, I'm gonna hit view as, and I'm gonna select dynamic security and other user here again. And this time, let's go ahead and test this out as lucky number 13. So we'll test this out as employee ID number 13, Matt. So we'll type in Matt's email here. Hit okay. And there we go, it is only showing us employee ID 13, so we only see Matt's sales for January 5th. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video on dynamic security and setting up security in your reports in Power BI. If you are interested in more content from us here at Pragmatic Works outside of our YouTube channel, make sure to check out the link in the description below to gain access to our on-demand learning platform. Here you'll find courses on Power BI security, which I just recently updated, so make sure you go and check that out. But we also have courses on DAX, Power Apps, Power Automate, Azure, Microsoft Teams, Excel, and many, many more. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you find this helpful in setting up security. I will see you in the next one.